In this video, I'll show you how to activate virtual environment in PyCharm IDE. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. So first of all, we will open up that Python project in PyCharm for which we want to activate the virtual environment. Like I have opened this hello world project in PyCharm. Now first we will create the virtual environment and then we will activate that environment. In case you already have created the virtual environment and just want to activate that then feel free to skip a few seconds of video. So I have this hello world project which does not have any virtual environment currently because there is no any VNV folder inside this hello world project folder. Now to create the virtual environment for this project we will click on this option which is present in the bottom right corner where this no interpreter is written and now we will select this add new interpreter and finally click on this add local interpreter. Now this pop-up window will come up and here on the left side we will see couple of options which are to create a virtual environment and among these we will keep this first option selected because this is the default one which comes with python. Now here in the environment we will select this new if it is not selected already and in this location part we can give the path of the virtual environment wherever we want to create our environment. By default it will be venv inside the project's root folder which is this hello world project but we can change this from here. So let's say we want to give the name of the virtual environment as my env so we can give that like this. But for now let's go ahead with the default one. So I will revert this again. And from this drop down of base interpreter we will select the python version. If you have multiple python versions installed in your system then all the versions should show up here in this drop down. But for now I will keep this 3.12 selected. And finally we will click on this ok. Now you would see this .venv folder which is created inside this hello world project folder. So the environment is created with this .venv name. Now if we open the terminal then this particular environment will get activated automatically. And to open the terminal we will click on this view then tool window and then we will select this terminal here. Here you would see this .venv within these brackets which is present in the starting of the line. So which means this particular environment this .venv is activated currently. So that's how we not only created a new environment but also activated that for a particular project. Let's now see the scenario where the virtual environment is already created and we just want to activate that. Now you would see that we have this .venv folder which is for the virtual environment but in terminal .venv is not written in the starting of the line which means currently there is no environment which is activated. So now to activate the environment you will have to source the activate file in case you are using macOS and if you are on windows then you will have to execute that activate file. For me this is macOS so I will source the activate file and for windows you would see the command on screen. So to source the file we will write source space then the environment name and for me it is .venv then slash then bin slash activate. The file is present inside this bin directory. So this is the file which we have to source. For windows this will be inside the scripts folder. Now we will hit enter here. As you can see we have this .venv in the starting of the line which means this particular .venv environment is activated now. Let me know in comments if this video was helpful to you.